Ready? Let's go to work. If I were to tell the pharmacy student version of myself that I would land this clinical gig right after residency, I would have said that that was my goal, my dream job. But what does current day Lydia think? This week, I'm covering the cardiac ICU. Pharmacy practice is super different everywhere, and I've had preceptors from residency tell me that, hey, this isn't real life. Rounding, writing notes, not doing very much with the physical product aspect of meds. But hey, here I am, and this is very much the norm here. I start my day pre-rounding, aka reviewing patients, and starting my progress notes and prepping for rounds. Oh, P.S. If I look different in different shots, it's because I had to film this over the course of a week. It was too much to film in one day and the needs of the patient come first, right? Rounds last anywhere from an hour and a half to like three hours. We go room by room in the unit and the medical resident presents the patient, the nurse gives an update, I say my piece, the fellow and consultant say their thing, and then we collectively decide on a plan. On a good day, rounds is where I interject most of my recommendations, get my questions answered, and pretty much the whole team walks away on the same page. And on the best days, my notes are completely done after rounds. On a more disjointed day, there are more loose ends hanging and I have to do a bunch of follow-up later on. After rounds, I try to clean up any orders I didn't get to while we were rounding and any issues that are urgent or can quickly be resolved and any med histories that I can knock out before lunch. lunch, I try to do a little bit of walking if I have enough time. These shoes are from Kuru and you do have to break them in for a few days, but after that, these things are actually really, really comfortable and supportive, especially for all the standing we get to do throughout the day. On this particular day, I have a meeting with a qualitative research team who is infinitely smarter than I am and helping me out with a project. I'm just so constantly impressed with the resources that this place has and a lot of the projects I would want to do just wouldn't even be possible at a smaller institution. Thank you everyone, thanks for all your help. Okay, bye! All right, meeting is done and I guess I will go back and finish my stuff and tidy all the loose ends. On other days, the afternoon time is spent either precepting residents and students. We do have about 10 learners that come through cardiology every year. We finish up any clinical duties when it's a busier day. We look at new patients if they show up. And sometimes I spend time submitting abstracts or prepping presentation. I actually have a poster that I need to make for a conference in a couple months and I should really start on that, but maybe next week. Sometimes I also use this time to work on continuing education, do some admin stuff like requesting time off, all the important things. At two o'clock, my evening partner shows up and it's time for handoff. This overlap time also serves as an extension of that meeting slash scholarly activity time as needed. And let's be honest, a little bit of social slash team building situation. My perspective on career has definitely changed over time. When I was in school, it was a much more milestone-driven mindset. I needed to get into pharmacy school and the only one that I applied to, so I needed to get really good grades. I wanted to get to a residency and a job at a big academic medical center because that's what I wanted and also because that's the only option for an international student who's on a visa. 
And so I built my CV around that and made myself a good candidate for that. But now that I'm here and have been here for some time, I realized two things. One is that clinical pharmacy as a career has a bit of a cap on the growth. Like, yes, you can do more teaching, more research, more clinical stuff, but once you've done it a few times, it just feels a little repetitive. And two, the cap on the earning potential. It starts out really strong, but then that's kind of it. Like there's minor annual adjustments, but unless you switch into like a consulting gig that's outside and third party, or you start climbing that admin manager ladder, this is kind of it. And the thing is those alternatives completely change the nature of the job away from something that I currently like. And if that's the case, what is really stopping me from exploring anything that's outside of healthcare? for the school run. I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'll run in and get the kid. What I think I want to do now, and yes, it's still evolving, is to forget about the milestones that you're supposed to achieve because none of them really speak to me anyway and I want to focus on what I find to be meaningful or fun or teaches me something new and helps me grow. And these can be at work or outside of work. Maybe all of these passions will somehow converge down the road and it'll all make sense. Or maybe not, but at least I would have enjoyed the journey. And I know it can sound like a loss of clarity, like I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of lost and confused. Like, am I just aimlessly going all different directions? And it took some introspection to really reflect and think about this. And I realized that although looking backwards, all of my previous steps leading to where I am now, looked really stepwise and linear and intentional, that's only because things worked out. In that previous moment, why the heck did I take a job as an RA in the dorms? Why was I a visitor info center person when all of my pharmacy school friends were doing internships at actual pharmacies and doing research, counseling patients, working in the hospital? And yet, those opportunities were the most remarkable in helping accelerate my adapting to American culture. I think subconsciously that was a skill that I was searching for and wanting to develop. It taught me more about leadership and engaging with the group, tailoring answers based on who's asking it, more than what I could have gotten from a regular pharmacy internship. And in a sense, that is what gave me an advantage. So if you're in a similar place, I hope you embrace this and just enjoy the journey. And if you're just starting out, listen, you still need to grind, but once you're at your dream job, you're a few years in and thinking about what to do next, come back to this video. I hope you found this useful and or entertaining. And if you're a coworker, please say hello. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you again next week. Bye.